This is a video for people who want to set up their local environment when they're building with TealScript instead of using CodeSpace, which is a virtual environment on GitHub. If you just want to use CodeSpace, head to the CodeSpace setup video. All right, to set up your local environment so that you can build with TealScript, you need to first install AlgoKit. So come to github.com slash algorithmfoundation slash algokit dash cleat. The link will be in the description. Now come down here and in the readme, you'll see an install AlgoKit section. Click on that and it will take you to the section that explains how to install AlgoKit. Now first things first, you need to have Python 3.10 or higher. So go to python.org slash downloads to download the latest Python version. You also need to have Git installed. We use Git to create and update projects using AlgoKit template. And then you also need to have Docker installed. Docker lets you run a containerized environment, and we use Docker to run a local algorithm blockchain on your computer. You'll be using that local blockchain to test your smart contract while building. To install Docker Desktop, come to docker.com slash products slash docker dash desktop. And you can choose whatever machine you have right here. Now, AlgoKit can be installed in many different ways, depending on your local machine. But you can use Pipex on any machine, so I'm going to walk through how to install with Pipex. So click on Pipex right here, and it will take you to this section. First, it's going to ensure that you have all these prerequisites installed. So we've installed Python 3.10 or higher, Git, and Docker. If you haven't, you can click on these links to go to uh, the installation page. But we haven't installed Pipex yet. So let's click on Pipex. And then down here, there's the instruction of how to install Pipex, depending on your machine. I'm going to use pip to install Pipex. So I'm going to copy this code, go to my terminal, paste it in, and install Pipex. After you install it, make sure you copy this code, paste it in as well to add your Pipex to your path. Now I've had Pipex previously, so my Pipex is already in the path, but you should see that your Pipex has been added to the path. All right, let's go back to the AlgoKit GitHub. And the next step is to install AlgoKit using Pipex by running this command. So I'm gonna copy that, go to my terminal, paste that in, and that's going to install AlgoKit. And there you go. If you see something like this, this means you've successfully installed AlgoKit. And to just double check that it has been successfully installed, you can run AlgoKit dash dash version. And you'll see something like this if you've successfully installed AlgoKit. Now here on step three, it says to restart the terminal to ensure AlgoKit is available on the path. So let's just do that to make sure. Perfect. Now that AlgoKit is installed, let's bootstrap a TealScript project using the TealScript template. So to do that, you want to run AlgoKit init, and that's going to show you a list of project templates that you can choose from. You're going to choose TealScript. It's going to ask for the name of the project. So I'll just say TealScript demo, and then it's going to render the template. Then it's going to ask you if you want to run AlgoKit Bootstrap, which is a command that's going to install all the dependencies that you need to build with TealScript. So say yes to that. And once it's installed all the dependencies, it's going to ask if you want to initialize a Git repository, and I'll say yes to that as well. Now, once the initialization is completed, it's going to automatically open VS Code for you if you have it as your default editor. And if not, you can just open the project folder. Now, it will take you to this readme file that has information about this template. But let's go to the folder structure and see what we have. Now, we have all of these configuration files down here, so you don't really have to worry about these. But you want to worry about this contracts folder. If you open that, it'll have an artifacts folder, clients folder, and a tealscript-demo.algo.ts file. Now this will depend on what you name your project. Right now, the artifacts folder and the clients folder are empty, but these will be populated 
when we compile and build the smart contract. So let's take a quick look at the default TealScript smart contract that comes with the template. Now, this is a simple calculator smart contract that has two private methods, get sum, get difference, where get sum inputs two arguments A and B and returns the a sum of that. And get difference also takes in two numbers A and B and gets the difference of those two numbers. And then we have one external method called do math, which takes in two numbers A and B and a string value called operation, which specifies what kind of operation you want to run. So if you take a quick look at this method, if the operation is sum, then it's going to call the private method get sum to get the sum of A and B. And if the operation is difference, then it's going to call the private get difference method and get the difference of A and B. And it's going to return the result. So obviously this is a default smart contract, so you can modify this code to uh, build your project. Now let's try compiling and building this smart contract. To do that, first we need to run a local network on a computer. A local network is basically a private algorithm blockchain that runs on your computer that lets you test your smart contract in a safe and fast manner. So it's not connected to a public network. You don't need to pay real algos to test on here. It's just your own personal local blockchain for you to play around with. To do that, let's go to our terminal and you need to run algokit localnet start. Now, before we do this, make sure you have Docker desktop running in the background because we're going to be using Docker to launch our local network. So make sure you have this on. Going back to the terminal, run this command. And that's going to start an Algokit local net on your computer. Now, if you go back to our Docker desktop, you can see that Algokit sandbox has been created. And it should be running these three containers, Algokit Postgres, Algokit AlgoD, and Algokit Indexer. And if all three of them are showing these green icons and running properly, then you're good to go. Now, back to VS Code. Let's open up our terminal inside of VS Code. And let's compile this uh, smart contract. Now, if you go back to the readme file, there's an instruction of how to build your contract. So if you run npm run build, it will compile the contract to teal, generate an ABI and an app spec. And it's also going to generate an Algokit TypeScript client. So let's try running that. npm run build. You should see this message operation completed successfully. So let's open up our folder structure. And if we open the artifacts folder, now you can see all these files populated. Let's quickly go through what they are. Tealscriptdemo.abi.json is an ABI file. The approval.teal file is the approval program in teal code. This is the clear program in teal. This is the extensive ABI that the front end can use. And we also have a source map of the smart contract. Now, if you open the clients folder, now we also have this teal script demo client.ts file. This is an auto generated application client that you can use to interact with your smart contract. So for example, if you have a front end and you need to write code that calls the smart contract, you'll be calling the smart contract through this application client. Nice. So now let's test this default smart contract. The template also gives you this test folder. And inside of there, we have a test file. Now this test code is for the default calculator smart contract. And here, as you can see, we are importing in the application client as TealScript demo client, and we are instantiating it over here as app client. Then coming down here, what we do is we use Algo SDK to generate accounts to play around with. We create an instance of the application client like this and set it to the app client variable. And we use the app client to create or deploy the application by doing app client .create application. Now that the application is deployed on your local blockchain, we can test and call that smart contract. 
So here we're going to test the sum function. Uh, we have a const a set to 13, b set to 37. And we again use the application client to call the do math method that we saw before. And we pass in these three arguments, a, b, and operation set to sum. And we expect the return value of that to be the sum of a and b over here. And again, we do the same thing for difference. So you can also modify this file to test your own smart contract. To actually run this file, again, open up your terminal and you can run npm run test. And if you do that, it will run the test file and show you how many tests you pass. Very good. So this is how you set up your local environment to build with TealScript. Now, future videos done by Joe Polney for this TealScript course, uh, he will be using CodeSpace, which is a virtual coding environment, but you will still be able to follow along using your local environment. Now, there's one difference that you need to be aware of. In the video, Joe is going to talk about manually setting up ports for the code space. Now, because you're in the local environment, you do not need to do that. So whenever he's talking about manually opening ports for code space, you can just ignore that and do everything else the same. All right, you're all set to start your TealScript journey. Let's go to the next video.